Today we're going to take a look at the new Catalina 545, Boat of the Year by Sail Magazine and Cruising World, and it even won Sail Magazine's Systems of the Year. Pretty sweet. Right from the beginning here you see things that are a little bit different. One, that bowsprit is molded in. That makes it stronger and lighter and um, it's got the anchor uh, out from away from the from the uh, bow so you're not banging your bow on the way up. Gives you a spot to put on your code zero or, or asymmetrical. Behind that you can see it's got an electric furler on the jib and the jib is self-tacking. So pretty easy to run. The anchor windlass in front of the anchor windlass is a chain stop, heavy duty chain stop. You don't see that on too many boats. Uh, big Maxwell anchor windlass, um, <clears throat> vertical style, so you get a better pull. Um, and then behind that is the entrance into the uh, cell locker. Further down the boat, in the middle, you got the hatch into the main hull or main owner's cabin. And down below is nice big windows that are uh, Class A rated uh, for offshore work that gives you lots of light into the interior space. <clears throat> Behind the hatch on, on the deck there is a uh, place for a, a sun pad um, so you can go out and hang out on, on the front deck and the traveler for the self-tailing jib. Now if you see that jib comes down and then goes up, almost or above the first spreader and then back down. That's to allow that jib to uh, easily self-tack. They've really thought out the angles on that and made it pretty, pretty easy um, for running this boat. The chain plates are really special on this boat as on all Catalinas. There's a ball and socket system. So that plate that you're looking at right there um, attaches to the deck and there's no chance of that leaking at all or uh, cracking the deck in any way. You can see um, the inner and the main shroud are um, both attached to the same point and they're way inboard. So decks are wide, you can walk by, you don't have to worry about doing gymnastics around the, uh, around the shrouds, um, all, all good. Looking at the stanchions, getting a little closer look at the stanchions, they're 28 inches tall rather than the, the typical 24 inch. Um, so you get a little higher stanchions. And uh, stanchions also are uh, bolted into a backing plate that's uh, bonded into the fiberglass. One of the special things about this boat is the way they've set up the water drainage. And <clears throat> that um, relates to the hull to, to deck joint. So if we look over here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little um, channel that runs down the inside of the gunnel. And that channels water um, <clears throat> off of the deck and it runs to a through hull or through deck fitting right there that takes all the water and um, puts the water out right above the water line so you don't get any nasty black streaks going down the deck. Further down here you'll see this uh, Genoa track, um, nice long Genoa track with adjustable cars on it. Um, and the other thing you should note on all of these items that are uh, <clears throat> through bolted, not only do they go to a backing plate that's uh, that's tapped and um, captured in the in the structure of the boat, but they're also raised. So there's no water sitting around any of the screws or, or uh, any of the plates. Um, so you get no water intrusion into this boat at all. Um, nice dry boat. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, we're looking at the, at the bimini with the uh, stratoglass or um, carbon, polycarbonate uh, windows on the Dodger. That allows them to make the Dodgers a little bit taller, a little bit uh, easier to, to manage and stand underneath. You got probably 6'3 to 6'6 six, six headroom underneath the uh, Dodger. Um, and then as we go back, you can see this solid rail all the way around the cockpit. 
So anytime you're getting in and out of the cockpit, you got a solid rail to hold on to. It's really secure, really safe, great feature, great safety feature. All right, let's step aboard. All right. You can see this little cutout right here. Well, that is by design and that is meant for a footstep. So you know where to place your foot when you're stepping into the cockpit. And the deck height on the outside is the same as the seat height on the inside. So it makes it really easy to get in and out of this cockpit. One of the things they've done on this boat is really thought about ergonomics and how you use the boat and, and what makes it comfortable. So you can sit here, a little hard to see, but you can sit here and put your arm here and it's at the right height. Pretty cool. And the back is at the right angle. Um, <clears throat> all really nice for sitting around. You've got a corner here, uh, corner over there, corner here that you can sit back and relax. Um, <clears throat> and then the sail handling is all done right here or behind the wheel. So if you're looking forward here, everything from the winches forward is all about hanging out and enjoying the boat, um, relaxing, it's all your guests, sitting back and kicking back and maybe having a beer or margarita. The, the lights here pop up for uh, romantic nighttime uh, dining. Um, the table comes up, beautiful table, nice and thick, teak, just beautiful, gorgeous woodwork on this. Um, when you bring these leaves up, you go back to this one. When you bring this leaf up, you can actually fit three people around this easily on either side. That's why they put the L shape up there. So you can fit somebody sitting there at the table. And there are fiddles here. You also have a um, drinks locker here with a cold plate. So you keep all your drinks cold here. Here's the other light. So back at the helm, this is where the uh, business of sailing is done. And you got two helms, both carbon fiber wheels. You got these big 12 inch hybrid touch Raymarine screens. Um, you got an autopilot here and you have your fusion radio uh, controls here. On the other helm, it's a mirror of the port helm, except it's got a few more things. It's got the Genoa electric furler right here, in and out, and it's got the main furler in and out here as well. It's got your engine controls here um, with temperature and oil pressure. And then one of the really cool things is this boat has jet thrusters. So bow and stern jet thrusters. So you can make this boat walk sideways into a dock, uh, maneuver real easy in a marina, just great, great feature, spin itself around in, in its own length. Um, and then here we have the windless controls, windless up and down controls, autopilot, um, <clears throat> autopilot controls and uh, uh, repeaters. Your engine control is right here. Now, all of your sail control is off this winch or the other winch. And you have clutches um, with all the, um, all the sheets and outhauls and halyards, everything's right here. Um, all you do is put it on the winch. You got electric winches right here um, <clears throat> that you just press a button, two speed winches slow. Actually, you got two electric winches, um, one for primary, one for secondary. Um, you got these big Garhauer turning blocks. They're just huge. Um, same thing on the other side. Over here, you've got your uh, your bang, your your uh, jib halyard, your main halyard, your boom topping lift, and your jib sheet. So again, all controlled right here. Uh, really easy. Um, you doing good? Back here, you got some cool features. This pops up 
and you have a barbecue, electric barbecue, really cool. On this side, we have outboard engine storage and uh, other storage. You got a hot and cold shower. And then looking back here, you've got a um, <clears throat> swim platform that folds down electronically. So it goes up and down. And if we bend down here and take a look. This is where your dinghy lives and whatever else you want to put in here. So pretty cool spot, uh, lots of space, easy to get to. All right. Let's go below. You'll notice as you walk around this boat, there's handholds everywhere you go. So when you're walking along here, you got handholds, got handholds here, um, just really easy to get to. Let's start off before we go down, I'll show you the, uh, the hatchboard. So this is counterweighted and goes up and it'll stay wherever you leave it. And then when it goes down, you just push it all the way down and it's stored, it's out of the way. It's a great feature. Okay, let's take a look inside. Wow, this is expansive. You see all the room that we have here in this, um, in the main salon. The galley's off to the port side. Um, <clears throat> you got two set, two big set tees on either side. It, there's a set tee. There's a nice chart table over here. Um, all your electronics, your electronic panel. Your electrical panel is here. All your, um, all your DC except for your electronics are, tw are 24 volt. These are your 24 volt panel. And you got your 240 volt AC panel. And they're all, everything's right here. So you don't have to go running around the boat to different spots for your electrical. In this cabinet behind here is your uh, inverter. And sorry about that. We're going to show you a really cool part here. So this is your hideaway TV, high def TV. Pops up. Swivels around. Get to watch TV from pretty much any of these seats. And then when you're done with it, you can put it down, put it away. few things to note on the construction, all of the edges are rounded. You can see that there's no sharp edges here. Um, and all of these corners are solid teak. So if you do bang these um, and mar them, you can sand them out and, and, and uh, refinish them and it'll look just like new. So you don't have to worry about damaging the, the uh, corners in the high wear areas. The um, salon here is full width. Um, you can see there's no cabinets on the, on the walls. So you get the full width of this 15 foot, six inch beam boat. Um, you got the lights going across that really make it look wide. Um, really, really nice. Um, this table, beautiful finished table. This comes up and the table folds out. And now you've got a table, dinner table, that will sit yeah, six people. This uh, ottoman is a nice seat. This one also converts into a seat. It just flips over. 
um, so you get this lots of room for um, for guests. Um, <clears throat> the galley is really big for a boat this size. It's a huge galley. This is all Corian. There's a black Corian, white Corian over there. Um, <clears throat> this was designed. This galley was designed so when you're cooking or, or pre prepping in the galley and you want to put out food for people to come pick up, it goes here. And then uh, people can just pick it and pick it up and go sit at the table or take it up above. Um, <clears throat> here we've got a freezer right here. Nice deep freezer around the other side. We've got an ice maker. So nice and convenient for your drinks. And then back here, we have a drawer fridge. So two drawer fridge, and all filled up with beer, ready to go south. There's your second drawer fridge. And that this can be turned into a freezer as well. Center line sink, so it drains on either tack. Um, <clears throat> three burner stove, force tent stove with oven. And then up there is... I love the way it flows, I love the way it grows, there's something in this sound that takes me far, it's like a special song, I can move my mood along, but I cannot say... Lots of birds, pelicans, diving, pretty cool. Anyways, let's go below, we'll finish up the tour. Alright. Well, here we are. Let's go forward and take a look in the uh, forward stateroom. Um, this is a uh, major structural bulkhead, and it looks like this. It's a honeycomb, carbon honeycomb, impregnated with uh, resin, and then you got plywood on either side with uh, teak veneers. Uh, this is a really thick heavy sound deadening material and you also have this hallway so when we go forward here and we close this door there's no noise up here at all so you can barely make out the engine um, it's a nice haven for the owners of the boat to come up here and escape any noise and uh, relax. Now uh, check this out. Here we are cruising along at seven and a half knots. Got these big windows here. They're all class A um, approved for offshore um, ocean work. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. You can just sit here and look out, look out the window. And see the water going by. You got a little wave action going on. Um, it's really, really cool. If you look uh, around, let's point some things out here. You got this nice uh, couch here with the bolster um, cushion to lean on, relax, or you can remove that. It's long enough to sleep on. It's like 6'6". Six, six. Um, so you have plenty of room if you want to sleep there, if you need uh, some extra sleeping space. Um, the bed is a queen size bed. Uh, regular mattress, uh, not a custom marine mattress, so you can go to any uh, sleep train or any of those uh, mattress places and buy yourself a mattress that you really like and put it on the boat, fit right in. I'm going to lower this shade here. These are blackout shades. Um, and just um, kind of keep the sun out. And if you look up above, up there in this hatch, you've got either a shade one way that blacks out any light or you go the other way and we've got a screen so keeps the bugs out good ventilation here with that big hatch up there facing forward uh, <clears throat> over here we've got a tv tv swings out 
So you can watch it from the couch or from the bed, whichever is better for you. Turn the light on above the little uh, desk, um, little makeup desk here. It's really nice. Got a got a mirror here. You got this nice light wood, maple wood up front. Um, keep the the room light with a contrasting teak. If you look at this teak uh, <clears throat> cabinets, you can see that all the grains match. Um, <clears throat> They basically take uh, a sheet of, of teak and they use that one sheet to make sure that all the grains match in here. So lots of storage. You see here, good size storage. You got these really nice um, um, arms that hold the, the doors open. Back here, you got all these louver doors, all these louver doors with cabinets. Um, these on the side are, are shelving, and you've got um, cedar line, so it smells great. Um, back here, we've got a cedar line closet, nice big hanging closet, and just more hanging space there. So lots of room. There's drawers, big drawers under here. Look at how big that drawer is. And all the drawers are, are on these metal sliders, so they slide nice and, nice and easy. Um, you know, you got four of these big drawers. Pretty nice, pretty cool. Let's go into the head. I'll show you the head real quick. First off, just note that these doors are all wood doors and they've got this protective paneling on the inside um, so if you get it wet it's not going to hurt it so in the in the head we've got a uh, vessel sink nice electric toilets and really good size shower here full stand-up shower you get in here and um, wash up and you're underway and things are getting a little rough you can actually sit down um, and shower pretty nice clear nice clear door and I'm going to show you something really cool it's kind of a techie thing um, but some of you will appreciate it others will say well that looks interesting but I'm not sure what it is so I'm going to explain so this here is your chain plate um, that ties the, uh, the the deck fitting which is a uh, ball and socket arrangement on a plate and it all, both the uh, outer shrouds and the inner shrouds go to this um, deck plate to these um, <clears throat> chain plates and the chain plate goes down you can see the size of this massive uh, stainless steel rod that's adjustable at both ends and then it goes down and ties into an aluminum um, uh, L-beam that goes through the boat, maybe 20 or 30 feet through the boat, that ties it, all this load into the structure. And this here is your uh, holding tank. It's a gravity fed, so you don't need any uh, nasty uh, macerator pumps or anything. You just open a valve and it empties out. Or you can pump it out from the top. Okay, underneath the glass floor, behind the curtain, is a jet thruster. So this is a, um, a, a new device that uh, works as a thruster for both your bow and your stern. You got the extra batteries here um, in the plumbing where they're pumping uh, massive uh, amounts of water through to uh, use as a thruster. Pretty cool, that's an option, something you should consider if you're gonna be buying one of these boats. All right, and we'll go back out and you'll notice when I open this door, it gets noisier. One of the reasons that this is so quiet here is you have a metal frame here with, uh, with, with uh, little hairs fur 
Um, so when the door closes, there's no air gap, so you can't get the noise uh, coming in. Anyways, let's go back into the aft staterooms. We'll go back into the starboard stateroom first. And the starboard stateroom is uh, set up as two singles, but to make it easy, to make it into a double, it's electric and it just moves over. And there you go, now you've got yourself a double, or if you want it back to two singles, you can do that and move it to two singles. Storage here is really good. You have big storage here. And you got three nice big drawers, really deep drawers. And then you've got storage up above there as well. You've got air conditioning vents there, so you've got nice air conditioning. And back here is some access port. Also, some access here that's into the generator. And if you need to, you can move this over and pull this whole panel out. Back here is access to the engine. We look inside the engine room, you can see all the fuel hull fittings, easy access. Here's a head, nice size head, big shower. Remember, this is the second uh, head. And you've got a nice big shower here. You've got electric heads, uh, vessel sinks, chlorine countertops. Um, just really, really nice setup. All right, let's go over to the other stateroom. So we walk through the galley. We go back to the second guest stateroom. This is a double um, with, again, lots of storage. I mean, this, this boat has tons of storage all throughout it. I mean, look at this hanging locker here. It's huge. With, uh, and it's all cedar line. It smells great. I don't know, can you smell that? It smells great. Big storage here. You can see the storage there. More storage here with drawers that come out. Another drawer there. And then over here, again, we have access to the engine, the generator. Um, and if you need to get it out, this whole door comes off. And then access back here to even more uh, hot water heater and batteries switches. Yeah. All right. Let's see, what else have we not seen? How about peeking underneath the, uh, the floorboards here? So there's access to a through hull. It's all labeled. There's the, um, the strainer. That's an air conditioning inlet. These floors are really nice. They're synthetic uh, teak, and they, um, there we go. Um, they're impervious to damage. You can drop stuff on it. You're not going to ding it up or scratch it up. 
Uh, these are specially made for Catalina. They, uh, they took a, a sample uh, picture of a real teak floor and had that made uh, for them custom. So you got these beautiful teak floors. Let's take a quick look under here. There's your batteries. Really nice battery setup. Let's see with um, with solenoids to turn off the batteries remotely. Um, AGM lifelines is one, two, three, four, four Ds for your house bank. Plenty of battery power, and this is in a uh, in a uh, separate compartment for the batteries. So no water can get in here. Um, it's nice and safe. And all the bat all the wiring is nice and neat. And as we've seen in the factory tours before the floors go on, you can actually pick these floors up and get into the traces for the uh, wire runs. What do we have here we haven't looked at yet? Oh, look at that. Nice garbage uh, receptacle. Pulls out, so when you're working in the galley, you got a place to throw your garbage. The engine compartment is down there underneath the stairs. These stairs are just beautiful. This is all solid wood, stainless rails. Uh, really nice setup. I love the way it goes. All right, let's put this table back. It's like a special song. Can move my mood along. So now we have more room for hanging out here. But look at the, how beautiful this varnish is. It's nice high gloss varnish. She told me beautiful. All right, well, that's the uh, Catalina 545. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, it's a great boat. Give us a call. We can uh, truly. Get you on one of these or get you into one of these. Uh, great boats and looking forward to showing you one. Right? Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. That was the uh, 545 uh, Catalina, the new one uh, that I was on down in Florida uh, a couple months ago. Great boat. You got a good good uh, glimpse of that boat. Um, and before that, we had on our panelists for the uh, different ways to get on the bay. Um, hope that was interesting to you guys. Um, sure was interesting to me, even though I'm here all the time anyways. But um, if you have any uh, any questions or anything, let us know, or Lisa at South Time or Allie at Bay Lights Charters. Um, I think we'll give away a few uh, few prizes, and then we'll get on with the uh, with the next boat. So, how about uh, free initiation and dinner for two at the Oakland Yacht Club? Um, <clears throat> the Yacht Club is closed right now, I believe, but when they open up again, you get dinner for two, and if you want to join. Your free initiation. Uh, Gailey, can you pick somebody uh, for that? We have Gerald Hardcastle. <clears throat> Gerald Hardcastle, all right. And if you're not from the area, Gerald, uh, let us know and we will uh, get you another prize and get this to somebody that can use it. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> next one, let's do a free, two free nights at Emory Cove Marina. And uh, that's always fun. Emory Cove is over there. When they open up again, Trader Vix is right next door. It's kind of a fun um, staycation, getaway. Um, so, Gailey, you got somebody for that? We have Tracy Regelman who's on line. Tracy, all right, Tracy. I know she's local. And they bought a Catalina from us. So, good for her. Um, <clears throat> Lats and Ats, a one year subscription. So, how about let's pick um, James Landers? Hey, James, 
one year subscription to Lats and Ats. Um, congratulations. Uh, you'll enjoy that. And let's give one more away. Let's give an Atomic Tuna hat away. So let's give an Atomic Tuna hat to, uh, who do we got there? Kathy Process. Kathy Process. All right, Kathy. We'll need your address on that, or you can come by and pick it up. Um, if you're local, um, you can swing by anytime. All right, there's a few more prizes given away. Next up on the list is a 2001 Deller 39. Um, <clears throat> really cool boat. Uh, it's kind of a racer cruiser. Um, the owner, uh, own, the past owner, um, Don Sellers, is going to be joining us with the current owner, Nick L for Lenza, um, after this walkthrough that we're going to do on it. So let's uh, let's cue that up and uh, let's take a look at that Deller 39 and then. We'll uh, catch back up with you on the other side with Don and Nick.